Woe unto you if you come one step closer. Many of your sort have come. I have swept them all away. Save your breath. Your big words don't scare me, you stinking spawn of hell. Tell me what I want to know, or I will make you drown in your own blood. <laughs> you dare to threaten me, little worm? Name just one reason why I should not tear you into a thousand pieces right now. I'm an envoy of Enos, and I carry the sacred eye on me. You have no choice. You must surrender to my will, or be destroyed. Ah! Say what you want of me. Who are you? My name is Panbador. And you would be well advised if you crawl back under the rock from whence you came. Where can I find the rest of you repulsive creatures? The elements from which everything is made hold this world together. Each one stands for the ability to control a part of the world. Search for the elements, and you will find the others. How can I defeat your master? He is almighty and nigh unto invincible. Should you be so foolish as to meet him, nevertheless, you will die a slow and painful death. This isn't the first time I've heard that. Nearly invincible does not mean I cannot kill him. So, out with it. What must I do? In order to oppose my master, you require things which he would never be able to obtain. And what would that be? You must acquire the finest armor known to your earthly community, and wear it on your skin. You need a rune which was crafted only for you. But the most difficult condition of all is that you must win five companions who would follow you into death. Then, and only then, can you dare to face the master. The power of the eye is exhausted. Your life ends here, human. Send those beasts to kingdom come. Is it dead? Calm down. It's over. Boy, what a humdinger. Wait a minute. The swamp dragon is dead. What are you gonna do now? No idea. I haven't thought about it, really. At any rate, you could now return to Corinus as a hero. Bet there's a pile to be made out of this. Think about it. Oh, man, my head.